Now let me talk about uh, list processing. Uh, well, uh, for the list, it's a uh, it's uh, it's a list for original composite data type, and uh, sometimes it's a very good solution to certain problems. First, let me see some examples of uh, list processing. First is a list. Uh, here we create a, a list. X, uh, one, two, three. Then we 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 will get a list. And then actually their structure is uh, looks like this. One, two, three, and their end is nail, not nail. And uh, second, let me see another list. Here we define uh, a name of a list uh, uh, and the full. Then we will get a list. Just one, two, and and ten. Yes, and here we got a, a list named full, and actually their structure not uh, not like uh, the, the the first one. Actually, their structure is like this, and uh, the first part is their their name, and they are <coughs> they have part two parts, and the first uh, first one is uh, yes, th this is the first one, and the the that part. And they create another kind of list, list, and then they are connected uh, the second one. Um, okay, um, for the for the list processing, if we want to connect it to these two uh, two lists, then we can use uh, mm, we can use the appendix. Append a p p e n d. Uh, it's uh, it's well well connected this uh, th uh cr Connect this two list and create a, create a new list that contains the elements of all arguments. Now let me type the examples of uh, appendix. Append. And here we we use a p p e n d and uh, list one two and uh, list three and four. Oh, I got a problem. Append list one, two, three. Then we will get uh, the list of what we want. One, two, three. And uh, actually, the structure looks like this. We when the for the new for for the new list, we share the same structure with the the last the last arguments, and then they will connect it. Uh, and uh, we will join uh, join the first part into the into the last one, last one. Then we will create a, a, a new new list. Well, um, for the list, we uh, okay. Let, let let me see another example of uh, of uh, list processing. Here we can use uh, set queue. To define uh, to do set queue to create uh, a list X and it contains contains A B C. Then we will get a list of A B C. If we type uh, type X, then we will get the same same uh, answer. And here, why we use two star star symbols, and because we want to make sure that X is a, a global global name that we can use anywhere, and uh, and actually we have another kind of uh, oh. Oh. definition a. B C yes yes we we got the same answer actually the C and uh, oh no 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 we should we should we should set set off oh. 
actually set off and secure the execute the, the the same same thing and uh, uh, maybe uh, set queue is the old version of the list and set off is the new version of the list. Okay, we can also use another uh, keyword of a defined parameter x. Yes, and then we will return the name, uh, uh, return uh, list name x. We can also use def define var and uh, x b c. Oh, okay, uh, x. Then we will get get the uh, uh, also have the same answer of x. Mm, here uh, we can we can use uh, if we want to pick up the first one, the first uh, the first uh, uh, values of uh, list then we can use uh, this one car x then we will get the first part and uh, we can use color x Then we will get the the rest part of the list. Mm, we can also use uh, uh, then we will get the last part. But if we use two three times other DDR, and then we will. We will get get uh, get a nail, and yeah, just like this, this is uh, the the last part of the list is nail. Okay, and since we know a lot about the list, thank you.